wrap it up with Radio Raheem. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. And for those who are new to this, Wrap It Up is a show where I talk about music topics from top 10 lists to album reviews to just random music topics. If it's music, I'm going to talk about it. And on this episode, um, we're talking about Tribe Called Quest. I'm going to rank their albums. I'm going to give you my top five Tribe songs. I'm going to tell you why I have a love for Tribe Called Quest and a little bit more. So enjoy this episode. And yeah. So Tribe always has a special place in my heart because Tribe's first album, Low End Theory, is my favorite album. Um, it also was like when I really started to really pay attention to music, I started paying attention to samples and who produced what track. And I really started paying attention to lyrics like heavy and stuff like that. And their first album was like the first album that was like, this is like perfect. This is hip hop. Like their first album to me is definition of hip hop. Like when I heard that, I was like, oh, this is perfect. You know, like, can it get any better than this? Like, <laughs> Like, I was really like, damn, because, you know, I went back and listened to it. So, like, I was around, like, 17, 18 years old, and I, I, I heard Tribe songs before that, but, like, I went back and listened to projects, and I was like, this is the dopest shit ever. So, Low End Theory has a special place in my heart. That's why Tribe has a special place in my heart. I feel like Q-Tip is as one of the best producers and he doesn't get his credit as a producer people sleep on q-tip as a producer um, they always talk about him as a rapper but they need to look at him as a producer fife is slept on as an mc and that's just period like fife be spitting listen to almost all those songs and his verse is so so like the clever like clever um his punchlines also gives you like you know what time you know what time you know it's 90s there's so many 90s references in there and stuff like that so tribe always will have a special place in my heart low end theory is my favorite album and i feel like they don't get their credit um one day they will get their credit you know i wish i would have been able to go to a tribe show you know but it is what it is. I'm the, that's when my age kicked me in the butt. But I think Tribe is the second greatest group to only Outcast. There's no group better than Tribe. They're better than NWA. They're better than Wu Tang. They're better than The Roots. They're better than Run DNC. Whoever. They're better than everybody except Outcast. Like I'm willing to put Tribe's catalog against anybody except Outcast. And they low key could go against Outcast. It's just Outcast got too many. Like too many hits, but yeah, I mean, I love Tribe, Tribe Car Quest. So we're about to get into this album review. We're about to take a little bit of break, but let's get into this album review. Not album review, album ranking. I'm going to rank their albums from one to six. So I'm going to take a little bit of break and I'll be back. So we're back. And now I'm not going to act like ranking their albums is actually pretty hard. Like it was pretty hard. You know, the top, the ranking, like, the, the well, number six wasn't, but the rest of the albums was pretty hard. Um, cause Tribe got some albums, man. Like, their catalog is crazy. Like, I listened to their music, um, the albums again before making this. So, I'm going to just do my rankings. I'm going to try to take my biases out of here, as you know. Um, but let's get into it. Now, number six is Love Movement. Love Movement, I'm not going to act like I was a big fan of this album. I heard this album after hearing all the other albums. So that did not help besides the one that uh, most recently came out. But this is the last, like, after hearing, like, Low End Theory and Midnight Marauders, and you hear Love Movement, you're like, come on, what is this? What is this nonsense? Like, not saying that it's, like, ass, but, like, if, like, it's just not tribe standard. So to me, that's the worst album. It do got Find Your Way on there, which I love that song, but not my favorite tribe album. I'm not gonna even pretend like it is. So they are my number six. My number five, I'm gonna go with Beast Rhymes and Life. Um, dope album, but compared to the other four, it just isn't up to par. Like um also there's this this album was a little bit like 
a little bit darker in like the tone to me, like compared to the other ones, you know, this one was a little bit darker in the tone, you know, I feel like they were like trying to go with what was hot probably at the time. Who knows? I was like three or four, <laughs> but it is, it's a different tone than Midnight Marauders and Low End Theory and all that. So that is my number five. My number four is We Got It From Here. Um, I like this album. This album obviously did not have Fife. They have vocals from him that were previously recorded, but he passed away. So they had to use like older vocals and stuff like that. So it was cool for what it what it was, you know. And I like the production on this album. Uh, Q-Tip always has dope production. Tribe always has dope production. Um, so this album to me is number four. Uh, they they uh, they didn't do which I'm glad they didn't do what like they did for the Tupac album after he passed, or what they did with the Biggie album after he passed. They didn't just put like random ass guests on there that never would be on the song that we can't see them like they didn't put um any of that they had like bust the rhymes on there and stuff like that so i appreciate them for doing that not disrespecting fight's legacy with that and that is my number what is that four my number three we got people's instinctive travels and paths of rhythm which is a lot to say their first album uh, dope ass album is just the the next two are just five mics. Um, this album got like Bonita Apple Bomb. Uh, I left my wallet and El Segundo's on here. I think um, Can I Kick It is on here as well. They got fucking slaps on this album. Slaps on this album. Like Tribe is is just they were like they came out the gate like we are them niggas. We might be young, but we them niggas and we are about to give them hits to you. Now what you think about that? Like they are, they just that great. Um, this album was great, but like I said, the first two, the next two are just dope as hell. My number two, um, taking my biases out of here is Low End Theory. Now Low End Theory to me is a perfect album. Um, but when I, when I think about it, uh, it's not better than my num the number one, which is Midnight Marauders, because Midnight Marauders to me is like lyrically they're better on this album. So that's what I rated it on because the production, I rate the production the same. Um, the guest features, which is not that many, I rate the same. But I would say lyrically, Fife and Q Tip are better on Midnight Marauders. So that's why I would put Midnight Marauders ahead of Low End Theory. So Low End Theory is my number two because um, I don't think they're lyrically better than they are on my number one, which happens to be Midnight Marauder. So I'm going to go through it again. Number five is Love Movement. Number four is Beats, Rhymes, and Life. Or number ah, number six is Love Movement. Number five is Beats, Rhymes, and Life. Number four is We Got It From Here. Um, Number three is People That Think of Travels and Passive Rhythm. Number two is Low End Theory. And number one is Midnight Marauders. That has been my tribe ranking. Again, that is my tribe ranking. That ranking belongs to Jamal, not y'all. So um, y'all tell me what y'all think about the rankings. Now I'm going to get into my top five tribe songs. And then we're going to end this episode. So y'all. Yeah. So my top five tribe songs switch all the time. You know, they it, it switches so fucking much. Like I'm not gonna act like it doesn't, but um I'ma just go with what's currently my favorite tribe songs. It switches so much, but by the time this post it might be a different. But my number five is Find Your Way. I love that beat. I love the sample. I love the lyrics. It's literally the only song that I like off of uh, Love Movement. So, <laughs> well, I like other songs, but it's like the song that I can actually download and put it on my phone and I care to listen to. So, Find a Way, Dope as Hell, Jay Dilla on the beat, you know, Dilla on the beat, you already know, it's a, it's a slapper. Four is a war tour. 
Um, I love that song. You know, I even like Wale's uh, flip of the song. A war tour, like, as dope. It was like what I would think it would be like at a tribe concert. So, yeah. Three, the, we got the jazz, we got the jazz. We got the jazz, we got the jazz. Dope ass song, you know, like most of tribe stuff. Um, I don't know if this will be on my list and and the next time I do it, but I'm gonna redo this list this this episode too. Like this point next year, I'm gonna redo this episode and see if my rankings are the same. Uh, number two is Bonita Applebaum. Got it going on because ain't no way in saying that a girl got a fat booty like Bonita Applebaum. Creative, so creative. You know what I'm saying? Like ain't vulgar. You know what I'm saying? He's not like, damn, miss, you got a fat ass. No, he's like, Bonita Apple Bum, you got it going on. You know what I'm saying? Slick way of telling me she got a fat booty, you know what I'm saying? And I I appreciate the booties. Ain't gonna hold you. Number one is Scenario. Scenario is a song that will always be in my top five tribe songs. Um, like when I think of Scenario, I think of the lyrics, I think of that iconic music video. You know, like Busta Rhymes versus Dope, Fife versus Dope, Q-Tip versus Dope. Like, it is a dope-ass song. It's one of the best hip-hop songs ever, ever. Top 10 hip-hop songs ever. And I said it. I said it. Period. (laughs) But, um, yeah, you know what? I was going to end it after that, but... I I, I want to, I've just thought of this. I wonder who, like, what people think, like, who's the best rapper in Tribe? You know, I personally think that Fife is the best rapper in Tribe. This is something that just popped in my head. Um, I'm going to do a poll on Instagram and see what people think. Like, I think that uh, Fife is the best rapper in Tribe. I think that Fife don't get his credit again as an MC. But I'm curious to what people think. So I'm going to end this episode and I'm going to post a question. And yeah, I'm curious to know what y'all think. But this has been Wrap It Up with Radio Raheem. I have been your boy, Jamal Radio Raheem. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. This is on Instagram. Y'all can like, y'all can still share, y'all can follow. And if you follow, share with your friends, comment below. I want to engage in conversation. I love talking about music. I like talking about it with strangers. It don't matter. And until next time, peace.